We saw how this expansion of education translated into better living conditions, and now I want to um, have a cautious look into the future of global education. And in contrast with many other social aspects where I'm pretty skeptical um, about making future projections, I do think that we can um, know something about the future of education. Um, by just comparing the education of the young generation of today with the education of the older generation. And if we do this again for this basic measure of literacy, we see that for the older generation of today, the 65-year-olds and older, um, in many parts of the world, the literacy rate is still well below uh, 30%. In many parts of Asia, Africa, Latin America, Middle America. And if we now compare this with the young generation, we see how much the world has already changed. Latin America has caught up, much of Asia has caught up, um, Africa is also catching up. Um, maybe worth to point out Northern Africa and the Middle East and how education has improved there. There are projections of the future education of the entire world population done by the IASA Institute that are in fact very good. Firstly, we see that the world population um, will stop to increase at some point in the second half of the 21st century around 2070 in their medium projection. Uh, we see that the number of children in the world is already declining. Uh, there will never be more children than today in the world. Uh, the expansion of the world population is due to um, population momentum and increasing lifespans. And then we see here in red um, the number of people with no education that will basically go down to zero. Um, few people in the world will only have primary education, and a large number of people will have secondary education or tertiary education, shown here in green. And um, a world where more than seven billion people um, have secondary education or higher is a world that can just solve many more problems than ever before.